Classical music. It's got a mix of uh, African rhythm, and that's what we call baila. It's a kind of six eight, and I think it's very unique to Sri Lanka. It's used as a mode for venting out their feelings. It's kind of the way yeah. every party ends. Yeah, it's the way every party ends, and you even see the you know very quiet, reserved family members get up and dance. When, when we um, play a song. Yeah, I, I'm a musician, so I love music. And therefore, they're my kids, they're my children, so. He was very well established in Sri Lanka, like being a lot, and like, we would, he just always played music around the house, so, and he taught us the life. Really small, and so we're like, yeah, I can do that every time. Yeah, and like, you know, we learn to sing and all this. So it's a big part of me connecting with my roots and kind of even realizing how I can connect with other styles as well. There's something special about connecting with, you know, the where you came from and your culture, and it's it's actually really important not to lose that. When I have children of my own, I I would like to have something to pass on to them of my culture and this is a special way of you know keeping a part of that keeping it going and keeping it there for future generations especially because we're not living in Sri Lanka anymore we're living here it's just so nice to celebrate um, you know how different we all are and just the uniqueness that everyone brings every culture and every nationality brings and it's it's, it's just fascinating to hear about um, you know, the stories behind the songs and I always find that interesting and, you know, that gives you a glimpse into their way of life and their culture as well. And I, I think that's really, yeah, it's a special part of the whole concert. Thank you very much for being a wonderful audience. And thank you to World Music Cafe for having us.